Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you the security tricks on the Redmi A5. Alright, so let's begin. So first, let's open up our settings. And now let's scroll down until we find the security and privacy. As you can see for now, this, this device may be at risk. So let's begin with setting up our lock screen. In here, as you can see, we have five possible options. We have none, swipe, pattern, pin, and the password. So of course, swipe and the none are not providing any safety. So I'm gonna show you an example of the pattern and how that works. All right, so now basically in here, all you need to do is to draw your pattern on that by connecting those dots and the minimum value of those dots is four. So at least four dots needs to be connected. So simply draw your pattern, click on next, draw it again, and then click on confirm and make sure that you won't forget your lock screen. Otherwise, you will be forced to reset your phone and basically lose all of your data if you don't know if you don't have a backup. All right, what do you want to what do you want your lock screen to show? You can show all notification content, show sensitive content only when unlocked and don't show notifications at all. So it's up to you, I'm gonna leave it just like it is now. Click on done. And as you can see now, the phone tells us it looks good. But let's scroll down a little bit and let's also click on app security. Click on Google Play Protect. And in here, let's perform a simple scan. Just like that, now the scanning is in progress. And as you can see, no harmful apps found, so it's also good to see. And I suggest you should perform that action from time to time. All right, below we have again the device unlock, but also I'm gonna show you the fingerprint. So to move forward, draw your pattern and let's click on fingerprint. Now simply click on agree. And now we have our sensor right in here under the power button and now all you need to do is to hold sorry put your finger on the power button and when you feel a little vibration you need to lift it up and then put again until you fulfill that logo on the screen until you get 100 percent okay so you can see that this circle in the middle is starting to fulfill when i touch with my finger and now we need to a few reps until we fulfill this circle. So you just need to be patient. Also try placing your finger from different angles. Just like that, you can see how I am performing it. And we are almost done. Okay. As you can see, fingerprint has been added. Now click on done. You have our finger. So now let's see, let's see how does it work. So let's begin with the lock screen first. I draw my pattern. Boom, as you can see the phone unlocks. Now let's try with the fingerprint. I'm gonna place it on the power button. And as you can see also the phone has been successfully unlocked. Okay, so it's working pretty nice. Also, when it comes to the face unlock, right in here, if you click on more and agree, if you click on start, now all you need to do is to place your face inside of that frame and then follow the instruction on the screen. I'm sure all of you can handle it. All right. Now below, we have use face or fingerprint to unlock your phone or verify it's you in apps. You can enable or disable it. I suggest the first option should be enabled and also I think the last one should be too because that's extra safety protocol. All right, now we have the account security and let's click on Google security checkup. All right, as you can see in here, we don't need to perform any action. As you can see, everything looks good, but if you will have some things to do in here, simply follow the instruction 
on the screen and I'm sure all of you can handle it. All right, and the last thing is the password checkup. And in here, as you can see, we have two reused password. So the phone wants us to create unique passwords. Always try to create as stronger, as strong password as you are possible, because that is increasing the level of security and the chances that someone will want unlock your phone or get access to your data. And always try to use different passwords because there's a chance if someone will find one of your passwords, he'll try to use it into your other, I don't know, accounts or platforms and he will also get access to it. Okay, so if you have something like like me that I have that I'm using two password passwords to the same that, that my passwords are the same and that in both cases you should change them all right now we have the device finders we have find my device we can click on on you can see also a quick instruction if you lose this device or any connected fast pair accessories you can use find my device to locate them if you want you can also click on learn more about find my device make sure that it's enabled right in here and we have two ways how to use that we can use the web or the app so basically let's click on find my device web and let's continue so basically if you will lose your phone I need to sign in in here also okay if you will lose your phone and it's still connected to the Wi-Fi there's a chance that you will be able to find it using that app and you can also remote lock your device from here or also erase the data but make sure that if you want to locate your phone using find my device make sure that device is off online and it's have the location turned on otherwise it might be harder so for example when I click on that phone I can factory de reset device from here or I can set the lock screen we have the secure device so it's also in my opinion cool feature okay so make sure that's enabled and now also let's click on system and updates and let's click on check for updates it's always good to see if there's an available download just like in my case as you can see google play system update available below we have the update size also so make sure that you're using the latest version of your software because that's also can increase the level of security now simply click on download and install then follow the instruction on the screen then you need to restart your phone but i guess it will automatically be resetted restarted sorry not resetted so no worries also now click on security update in that case the we have the latest version so we don't need to perform any action but if you have possibility to download the update you should do it okay google play system update was the thing that we had an available download so we don't I don't have to show you that because I did it like 10 seconds ago and the last thing in here is the backup it is always good to have a backup of your data so if you click on backup you have the account storage and below you can see your Google account that you are currently logged in below you can also see the free storage space and make sure that backup by Google one is enabled right in here so I sh I assume you should create the backup from time to time by simply clicking on this green button backup now because if someone will stole your device or you will lost it you can easily restore your data in the future by using this google one backup because it's basically stored in the cloud all of your data and it's really easy to restore them later so i think you should also consider creating a backup all right and the last thing is more security and privacy in here as you scroll down into the security you can click on extend unlock 
draw your pattern. In here you can read about the external lock, click on got it. And in here you can enable on body detection, trusted places or the trusted devices. So when it comes to the on body detection, after you unlock this device it stays unlocked while it's in motion like when you're walking with it. This device will stay unlocked for up to hours or until you put it down. So if you are interested in you can enable it or disable it, but I think it's not something you should use. Also, if you want, you can open up the Google Play Store and in here you can download some third-party apps such as Avest and those apps will help keeping away viruses away from your phone. Alright, so that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.